Je vais présenter Hélène en, en français. Euh, je ne vais pas citer l'extensive euh, bibliographie euh, de, de, de Hélène. Je voudrais simplement préciser que ces deux derniers livres euh, sont euh, Tribunal, publié euh, chez Down en 2019, et euh, le bien nommé pour nous Positions of the Sun, euh, les positions du soleil, euh, qui a été publié euh, par euh, Belladonna. Euh, je voudrais préciser pour ceux qui euh, souhaitent euh, la lire euh, en traduction française, euh, qu'on peut lire donc Jour de chasse, euh, traduit par Pierre Afferry, euh, qui a été publié au Cahier Royaumont, euh, lentement, traduit par Virginie Poitrasson, euh, est publié par Format Américain. Euh, Jésus à dos, traduit par Martin Richet aux éditions Eric Pesti. Et Ma vie, donc traduit par Maï, Nicolas Pesquès et Abigail Lang, euh, publié aux presses du réel. Et euh, à venir, euh, cet automne, euh, l'un euh, suivant, euh, traduit par euh, Chloé Thomas. Euh, qui vous en lira euh, en exclusivité euh, quelques extraits euh, ce soir. Donc Léna Génian et Chloé Thomas. Apologize for throwing my jacket and everything on the floor. I asked Peter Middleton to watch it for me and he readily said he would. And then I thought my nightmare over and over is that I lose my bag, I lose my money, I lose my jacket, and especially tonight that I would lose my umbrella. Um, so I threw it there for safety. Merci Louise, merci bien. C'était formidable, très joli, très belle. And it's a pleasure to be with you. Uh, so uh, my friend Chloe, uh, has begun translating from uh, this book, the <coughs> following. Uh, can everyone hear? Okay, yes. it's okay. Yes. Um, all right. So, are we going to begin with full poem, full poem, or down line by line? I think I think it would be easier with just one mic to do just the French for Okay. All right. You want to start with the French? No. You, you will start with the English. Okay, I will start with the English. Um, so the, the, the idea for this poem uh, was to, to recognize the fact that, that death uh, comes and it's impossible to follow it. So the, the work is built on non-sequiturs, each of which acknowledges the fact of death and the fact of living uh, despite the death uh, of another person, obviously not mine. Um, so it, it's a book of, of, of mourning, um, but also not without uh, a, a kind of hilarity um, that, that the non-sequitur uh, causes. Uh, so. I, because of the human imagination is incapable of actually uh, permitting the non sequitur to exist as a non sequitur, uh, it, it, it was impossible for me to write poems in which the lines didn't relate to each other because the mind just makes them relate, um, but they aren't supposed to. Uh, so if you don't understand, that's, that's the desired effect. <laughs> um, so we're going to read five of these poems, English first and then the, the French. Also, the, uh, Chloe's uh, translation is a, a, a work in progress. Eventually she will complete, complete it, perfect it. Um, but uh, we make no claims to either the English nor the French <laughs> having been <laughs> perfected yet. <laughs> The day comes up, this is number six. The day comes up from a severed page. Joe has standing whiskers. Jane has a sextet. Oh, so it has a secret, sorry. I <laughs> <laughs> think of Jane with a sextet. <laughs> 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 
Shakahachi flute. Um, okay, we'll start again. <laughs> the day comes up from a severed page. Joe has standing whiskers. Jane has a secret. The dancer is ballooning. He's fat and light-footed. He's becoming airborne. Nothing's in his way. How oppressed the young woman is by her mother's image of the happiness that must be hers. Along comes a wave casting spray as it bears down on a man half asleep on a towel and half awake in a rowboat adrift on a violent sea. The cold in this luminous season stings. Let us go then, you and I, in pajamas through the sky, <laughs> in which we'll dine on rice and pie. We'll drink from apples made of lace. We'll topple statues, invent space. <laughs> there in her hand is a slice of bread, its surface just beginning to stiffen. Can we question this? The stars are bits of fire that have broken off from Earth. Like ants, we must make our choices quickly. Death we cannot people, lens, clock, or declare. Thunder here is rare, no matter how thick the air, with things with sides to strike into view. Time's flow is damned, and the past comes back. Le jour se lève d'une page arrachée. Joe a une moustache dressée. Jane a un sexe tueur, ou oh pardon, un secret. <rire> This is like translation. Le danseur enfle, c'est un gros au pied léger. Le voilà qui décolle. Aucun obstacle ne se dresse devant lui. Qu'est-ce qu'elle lui pèse à cette jeune femme, l'image du bonheur que sa mère veut à tout prix lui prêter une vague arrive qui crache son écume en déferlant sur un homme à moitié endormi sur sa serviette, à moitié éveillé dans une barque à la dérive sur une mer déchaînée. Le froid en cette saison de lumière mort. Alors partons, vous et moi, en pyjama par-dessus les toits, et nous dînerons de riz froid, nous boirons des pommes de dentelle, abattrons des statues et inventerons le ciel. Dans la main, elle tient une tranche de pain dont la surface commence juste à durcir. Pouvons-nous remettre cela en question Les étoiles sont des morceaux de feu qui se sont détachés de la terre. Comme les fourmis, nous devons être prompts dans nos décisions. Nous ne pouvons peupler la mort, la scoper, l'horloger, ni la déclarer. Ici, le tonnerre est rare, même si l'air est gros de choses dont certaines faces surgissent dans le réel. On a mis une digue à l'écoulement du temps, le passé revient. Et oui, numéro 7. To begin with, I am faced with mountains to circumambulate since I can't cut through them. <laughs> I enter the folds of a human adventure. <laughs> On every door there hangs a figurehead, and this one comes to face me as the door swings shut. I will proceed with good will, the best of wills, anxiously. Bird of daughters, bird flying from the forks, the blurbs, the cereals, the time. I saw a golden tadpole eating apple jam. I saw a sudden whirlpool sucking down a ham. <laughs> the boughs grown with fruit, an apple falls, false alarm. It's a non sequitur, that. Sense data sinks. The muscles give out mid-word and a thief stutters while accusing me, his uncle, of theft. Loon comes along, mounted on a beast called That, who is neither more nor less than a horse as obedient to Loon as the tides are to the moon. 
shot of men hurrying toward each other at an intersection with open umbrellas, none willing to give way to the others, shot of placid camels kneeling near a chained dog, shot of sugar maples temporarily obscured by falling snow. Tomorrow morning, unless things vastly improve, I'll go in person to the front of the caravan and take it over the mountain. I thought I saw an earthworm stirring in the dirt. Then I saw it was a sadist wielding a quirt. <laughs> Pour commencer, je me retrouve face à des montagnes qu'il faut que je contourne puisque je ne peux pas couper au travers. Je pénètre les plis d'une aventure humaine. Sur chaque porte, une figure est accrochée et celle-ci se trouve nez à nez avec moi quand la porte se claque. Je vais agir avec bonne volonté, la meilleure des volontés, anxieusement. Oiseau de nos filles, oiseau qui s'élance des fourches, les argues, les feuilletons, la fois où j'ai vu un tétard jaune mangeant de la confiture, où j'ai vu un brusque cyclone engloutissant de la friture. Les branches gênent sous les fruits, une pomme tombe, fausse alerte. C'est un an de ses puits tours, ça. Les données sensorielles sombres. Les muscles lâchent la partie au milieu d'un mot et voilà un voleur qui bégaye lorsqu'il m'accuse, moi, son oncle, de vol. Moon arrive chevauchant un monstre appelé ça qui n'est ni plus ni moins qu'un cheval obéissant à Moon comme les marées à la lune. Clichés d'hommes qui se précipitent les uns vers les autres à un croisement, les parapluies ouverts, aucun ne désirant céder aux autres. Clichés de chameaux placides, couchés à genoux près d'un chien enchaîné. Clichés d'érables à sucre temporairement obscurcis par la neige qui tombe. Demain matin, à moins que la situation ne s'améliore amplement, j'irai en personne prendre la tête de la caravane et je la mènerai par-dessus la montagne. J'ai cru voir un ver de terre qui s'agitait dans la poussière, puis j'ai vu que c'était un sadique qui cravachait l'air. Numéro, numéro 8 There goes something forever lost in context A Sudanese customs agent halts a caravan carrying rocking chairs into lands where no rocking chairs are needed Come, lest desire clatter Dance now, lest we can't dance later Here remains as a bridge vanishes, the back door shuts, etc. And here cares little as to which is which. Conjoining unlike concepts, say birth control and origami, <laughs> is, is something mortals do. This does not follow. Window a red chocolate, melon in a tumult, stone of clouded jazz, Milk, a penciled elephant, all in a row. The passengers on prison ships are not allowed to celebrate. There is very little, almost nothing that... I order you to feel free to help yourself to ice cream, which is melting. At midnight, I'll become a merchant mariner again. Is this paper snow, undertow? It is perceived unconsciously and might have been a spider emerging from a duck's egg, a cause for excitement provided by the outside world to an inner world that almost missed it. It's only with clumsy freedom that things appear on people's lips. Quelque chose passe, perdu pour toujours dans son contexte. Un agent des douanes soudanais fait s'arrêter une caravane convoyant des fauteuils à bascule vers des contrées où nul n'a besoin de fauteuils à bascule. Viens, de peur que le désir ne se fane, danse maintenant, de peur que plus tard nous ne puissions pas danser. Ici, reste, tandis qu'un pont disparaît, que la porte de derrière se referme, etc. Et pour ici, c'est un peu égal de savoir qui est qui. Combiné entre des concepts hétérogènes, mettons la contraception et l'origami, fait partie de ce que font les mortels. 
ceci ne suit pas. La fenêtre, un chocolat rouge, un melon dans un tumulte, une pierre de jazz nuageux, le lait, un éléphant dessiné, tous à la queue de l'eau. Sur les bateaux prison, il n'est pas permis aux passagers de faire la fête. Il y a très peu de choses, presque rien qui... Je t'ordonne de faire comme tu veux et de te servir en crème glacée qui est en train de fondre. À minuit, je me changerai à nouveau en matelot de la marine marchande. Ce papier est-il fondant ou courant d'arrachement On le perçoit inconsciemment et c'était peut-être une araignée en train d'émerger d'un œuf de canard. Une occasion de s'extasier fournie par le monde extérieur à un monde intérieur qui a bien failli la laisser passer. Les mots ne viennent jamais à la bouche des gens qu'avec une liberté gauche. Tous. Tous. Tous et, 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 et tous mon tous. Lids cease moving and experiences fold. The pirouetting motes saying nothing of themselves, but proving that there's air and that it moves them, they do say that much, seem little but a light invention in the dark that keeps the world away. Closely written pages litter the tail of the avenue along which the woman doesn't return. Is there any salt, we wonder? Call those clarifying darkroom flickers of a winged thing reasoning flurry. What upright, strictly stitched such shadow? Hands at her cheeks, lips parted, and tip of the tongue just brushing the pink ridge behind the teeth. She is partway through the word. It's getting harder to accept the whole tamale. <laughs> Two small girls pad by the bungalow, and the older one declares. We come to the often open, the <coughs> pond. It is widely known that a monstar is a magical creature, a haunting figure, a celestial giant, a twinkling beast. A scene is setting. Hundreds remember this. A woodpecker of wood fastened to a piece of wood by a wire and string jerks when the string is pulled. Les couvercles cessent de bouger, les expériences se plissent. Les particules virevoltantes, qui ne révèlent rien d'elles-mêmes mais prouvent l'existence de l'air et qui les fait se mouvoir, oui, leurs révélations vont jusque-là, ont l'air petites mais l'air aussi d'une invention légère dans le noir qui laisse le monde en dehors. Des pages couvertes d'une écriture serrée jonchent le récit de la venue par laquelle cette femme ne revient pas. Y a-t-il du sale nous demandons-nous. Ces tremblements illuminateurs d'une chose ailée dans une pièce sombre, appelons-les tempêtes spéculatives. <rire> Quel piano a sévèrement réorienté telle ombre Les mains sur les joues, les lèvres entrouvertes et le bout de la langue caressant doucement le rebord rosé derrière les dents, elle est au milieu du guet vers le mot. Ça devient de plus en plus difficile d'accepter un tamal entier. Deux petites filles trottinent à côté du bungalow et la plus grande déclare que on va souvent à l'étang ouvert au vent. Comme chacun sait, un monstre, c'est une créature magique, une silhouette spectrale, un géant céleste, <coughs> une bête clignotante. Une scène touche à sa fin. Il y en a des centaines qui s'en souviennent. Un pivert vert en bois vert attaché sur un pic par un fil de fer et une ficelle pique le bois quand on tire la ficelle. Et puis 13. <coughs> Floating to earth, holding on to an inflated condom, down comes a swinging mouse, which may well be an irreverent owl, a statistical pine cone, or a vestige of melancholy. The hawk when interrupted, will metamorphose. The woman in the photograph is not to be confused with those she put at a distance 
and then brought back singly. Some say the stars are burning leaves. The truest story is a short one told at length and step by step, though all in vain, all in fun, and just for your sake. We could stop here for the unframing, the vague resemblance, the blurring of vision. Her name was Kick. Her name was also <coughs> Crawl. This is full of inexplicable consonants. Between, pole, be, between poles lie fallen wires the barbs are melting into. We want a wind that can justify the rattling of the door, the <coughs> wafting of the scrap, the <coughs> inward, away from danger. For no apparent reason, the empty sleeves of the gray wool coat that has hung in place for days from a sturdy hook by the door <coughs> uncannily shift and the coat falls. Perhaps the books should be sealed. Perhaps they should be dipped into clear glue or rosin. Along comes a herdsman with camels over the plains in a plain, in a plan that can't be filled. She is at the tile crossroads of the fountain still. Voilà qu'arrive, flottant vers le rivage sur un préservatif gonflé, une souris dansant ce qui pourrait bien être une chouette irrévérencieuse, une pomme de pain statistique ou un vestige de la mélancolie. Le faucon, si on le coupe, se métamorphose. Il ne faut pas confondre la femme sur la photo avec celle qu'elle a mise à distance, puis ramenée, une à une. Il y a des gens qui disent que les étoiles sont des feuilles en train de brûler. La plus véridique des histoires est une histoire courte que l'on raconte dans toute sa longueur et étape par étape, quoique en vain, pour rigoler et rien que pour toi. On pourrait s'arrêter là pour ce qui est de la perturbation, de la ressemblance vague, de la vue qui se brouille. Elle s'appelait Gigotte, elle s'appelait aussi Bavouille. C'est plein d'inexplicables consonnes. Entre les poteaux, il y a des fils tombés dans lesquels se fondent les barbelés. Il nous faut un vent qui puisse expliquer que la porte tremble sur ses gonds, que la ferraille tordue sur elle-même ait été soufflée au loin, hors de portée du danger. Peut-être qu'il faudrait sceller les livres, peut-être qu'il faudrait les tremper dans de la colle transparente ou de la résine. Voilà un gardien de troupeau avec des chameaux qui arrive dans les plaines et fait partie d'un plan impossible à accomplir. Elle est encore au croisement carlé de la fontaine. Um, as Ian warned you, it's a first draft, and so you might have noticed that the last translation I read only had 13 lines. Um, I just realized that I skipped one. <laughs> that one was the non sequitur. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. And now I'm, I'm going to read um, some sections from uh, the first of the three poems that uh, comprise uh, Tribunal. Um, the title of that poem is called A Human of Mars. Um, and the excuse for it uh, <laughs> is uh, something that I read which cannot possibly tr be true, which is that uh, paleobiologists Um, that there are this an extraordinary array of uh, occupations and uh, scientific endeavors uh, related to the history of the Earth, um, many of which have paleo. Um, there's paleogeology, paleomineralogy, paleobiology, um, paleooceanography, etc., uh, etc. Et But in one, in one account from a paleobiologist, um, there was a, a period in which it was thought possible that a fragment of the planet which has become Mars had fallen <coughs> to the planet that we know of as Earth, mm -hmm. um, and that the, the source of life on, on Earth is from Mars. <laughs> um, what I 
found interesting in this uh, implausible anecdote um, is uh, that Mars, uh, named after the god of war, um, if life, especially human life, comes from Mars, it would explain a great deal. <laughs> uh, and uh, that great deal uh, is the sad history of human destruction, especially of each other, but of everything else that they come in contact with. So uh, I, as I was thinking of this, I, I began to imagine an androgynous human, not yet uh, gendered, um, that's the first human, um, and is a Martian, um, <laughs> either on Mars or in that scrap of, of rock. Um, that on the planet, it doesn't matter. I never got farther than that premise. Um, so I'm just going to read um, like five minutes and then we're done. Um, and I won't read the numbers, it's numbered. It doesn't matter. Um, five, five sentence stanzas, we'll say. I am a human in the absence of others, of a yet better red. Omniscience is violent, infinite. There are no straight lines except those I make, and I do this rarely. I don't foresee that I'm here by choice or of necessity. Perhaps I will never know or never want to know. There are no birches here, nor lemons, nor elk, nor signs of social insects. But there are flakes and something smaller, so, and something similar to red slate and mirages very close at hand. I come from the red leaps. That's what I called the first new place, and now I'm calling another. Everything new comes at me and with me. It is nothing but flame, and all one flame or none and the same. This world has a red edge. That might be lit by candle wicks, then cigarettes, headlights, blasts and flares, red arts, red candles, red controls. I must begin as a biographer of a paramecium, then be a biographer of an onion. My day is 24 hours, 39 minutes, and some seconds long. I don eyeglasses, yellow tinted, and everywhere see citrus. A comma brings me back to a full brief stop. Curling back, it turns back, surveying the path surreptitiously or preparing to put down a root. Everything has a future, but eventually not as itself. There is nothing that is pre-martial in the human. I'll have Martian genitals. Postulate tiny speckled brown moth alighting suddenly on a page, or some other sweet, small, eventual, randomly existential particular counter-proposal, irresolution, and another thing yielding to a pause, a day in the life of a human of Mars. Observing my ears, others entering will think I have come from snails. Here's a torso, iron rich and reddening. I delight in appearance. What's over an egg? What's above it? Priorities proprieties, pieties. There's a pattern, and into it humans of a certain kind thread themselves. There are many days that have not yet been broken. When I breed, as I must, I will have children, 17 or 34, Belinda Fred, Georgi Clarice, Nana Shireen, Mustafa Pilar, Francoise Mamadou, Liuba Claude, Pablo Catherine, Tura Yonatan, Jude Anihit, Anita Leon, Saida Sam, Giuseppe Hua, Ping Miguel, 
Isabella Finn, Oleg Ayusha, Salma Gang, and the finest and most furious of them all, Lou Cipher Lucifer. <laughs> I can see through the blindfold, and I can't see through the blindfold. Both of these statements are true. Humanity is scattered in the details, slung on the ready, ruddy rust. Go, says the painter to the poet. Go and stop progress. <laughs> Ghost of a red fruit, gaze of a red face, words on a red page. Humanity is fated to break off, lose cipher, lump sum. I rage like a mother when mold is on the salsa. <laughs> but the scarlet hill is plump, a subtle strategy, the horizon soft as belly fat. Phenomena are woodpecker and cardinal and brought by goose. Or to put that another way, Air is a medium for pathos and partnership, transportation, portation, transect. There are interplanetary condiments, the stuff of space, salsas, true, but also relishes, jellies, mayonnaises, tapenades, <laughs> mustards, marmalades, sauces, chutneys, ketchups, and jams. <laughs> I lack a blank mind. Spheres of color hover on a deep plane. The red darts out. Doubt is not coterminous with limitation. I am hot and bent with it. I am out with it. Doubt is the Martian's demise. I want to be without traditional consciousness, saturnine, lunatic, stellar. Life is a vehicle carrying us around, hurtling us between plants, deploying us as living advertisements. Us, we arrived and now have to sell everything we brought with us in order to leave. Dear reader and readers, and all enlivened by green chlorophyll or red blood, or viscous yellow or ochre or brown fluid, or fluids or fluidity or blue, can I sell you my ankle, or great-grandmother, or broom? The rocks are down. Petrofa petrofaction cannot hold. Life is mother-father to troops of entrepreneurs juggling bombs and sticks and bills and stocks, and I'll eat them, a dish of scarlet olives. To part parse, patch, and please. Tales turn over many small things. Tales turn over the pleasure of knowing. Water falls. It is a social truism that anything that is happening may become explanatory, may make history. A stranded, unleashed anchor lies at rest now in its funereal future, whisked under rust beside a massive gear shaft robbed of torque. I had no plans to come. I never knew I had come. There was only one, so it was general, milkmaid of Mars, plumber of Mars, academician of Mars, <coughs> mayor of Mars, secretary of Mars, Martian chef and sous chef, and dishwasher, mechanic of Mars, its poet, mathematician, historian, army, shopkeeper, and housewife. Pleasure without leisure, a human of Mars is an orifice. If there were things to name, I'd apply sparrow wide, vice anvil, wire arrow, Mars crow, angle, and I could go on. My naming capacities are endless. The world is an oyster, and I am a valentine. Thank you.